I see the reaction video of Africa and this. So let's just this is going to be juice, some juicy stuff. Let's just start with the video. Raise your hand if you've ever been personally victimized by an African auntie. Here today because this is something I've been wanting to do for a long time. 2020, we need to address the culture, the fucking of devils of our culture, the culture of hating African aunties. Mm. They're your biggest haters, you know. A quick disclaimer before we get into this video: not all African aunties are haters. No, all of them. All of them. Not all of, all them. of them. Not all of them. It's just all for the them. sake of the disclaimer. Not all African aunties are haters, but we are specifically talking about those ones that. Ah, oh, oh, nice start. Can I start? Okay, good. You see, <laughs> you should never walk me for this video. Oh, God, oh, um, I'm sorry, Auntie. Oh, this is a your. So every time you see me, you wanna come and tell me, oh my sister, you've gained weight. You had a whole baby, and it's been 18 years. You haven't lost the weight. Perfect. We're still looking at it. We're forced to look at it. So you telling me that I need to lose weight, sis? Do you want to do this together? Or you want you want me to be a gym partner? We can do this. I'll be in a good ass mood, and now you've come and pointed down insecurity. And when you look worse than me, perfect. You've had six kids. I don't like it when they feel like they can critique your life when their son is in jail. I'm not saying it's nobody, I'm but nobody. I feel like you're coming to critique my life, and you want to now do a sit down intervention with me and my family. When you had a baby at 18. No, but when your kids are running around roaming the streets, your son is the biggest drug dealer in town. And you're there breaking, oh my god, my son bought me a new house, my son bought me a new car. With what money? It belongs to George Bush. Okay. You like to do this thing where you want to give advice about, you know, what somebody is doing with their life, stuff, which is appreciated. Which they've never done. Yeah. Which they've never done. You even but your own life is a mess. You're not making enough money. You're dependent on your money in Africa. Where, I don't know. I'm saying no, Africa. No. Your husband goes to Tottenham. Your husband is outside of the bed. He's and moving to me. And yeah, me. I was gonna say so that you as want to well. give me advice. Your husband Scary. doesn't even love you. You want to say to me, like, oh, my daughter, 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 what do you want to do with your life? Like, what is it that you're doing? You know, you can't. I'm scared of your husband. <laughs> what am I doing with my life? Do you know what? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a big fan of like pushing marriage on me when yours didn't work out. Oh. Perfect. Like, everybody, everybody, pick a hand to shake. Pick a hand to shake. You're divorced, but it's me that should get married at seven. And the thing is, man, I respect the armies that can know that their marriage is not working and go through divorce. Thank you. Most of you, you are scared. You can't even divorce your husband that is cheated on you your whole life. Shame, shame. You've had kids with multiple people. Perfect. Your big mummy number ten, Perfect. and then you wanna be saying, "Oh, marriage. When will you get married?" My sister, when is your own marriage gonna work? Thank Perfect. you. When? Because that's the thing. Your husband that. has moved to me. Me personally. Your husband has moved to me. Okay, me. Listen, I wanna when I was 14, my boobs were growing. I was a kid. I can't control my body. You want to now shame me about you need to cover your breasts, you need to cover your bum because men are going to look at you like this. Instead of you to talk to the, the grown men that are looking. The grown men. You know your son will be bringing back six different bitches, fucking them upstairs in your house. Yeah, no, it's the girl that you've never met before. You found out she's African. You want to come and say, "Oh my sister, you need to cover up. You need to cover up." Your son needs to put plastic on his dick. Let's talk about why you now want to put pressure on the girl in the family to do all the housework, and the boy gets to sleep in till eleven. Mm. Can we just? I don't like that. Him like that. Okay. Um, what about the ones that give like you give advice but you actually don't know what you're talking about? How's that other ever sat you down to talk about it? Did you, you, did you, you need to go, go to uni? Did you finish school? <laughs> you didn't go to school. What you're talking about? Like they'll be trying to talk about one politics and they'll be like, no, actually, what is the problem? Did you say the UK? Did you finish? My sister, you're not even allowed in the UK. <gasps> About my life. Oh, I saw. Oh, oh my God! God. Oh, I didn't do that. Oh, your son is a murderer. Your son. Your son is a rapist. Your son. Your son is kidnapping people. You're on the phone to 
to my mom, telling my mom about my picture on my gram. But do you even know where your son is right now? Has when you're putting out, but when you're putting out your dick, there's nothing there. What, what? Like your daughter is very talented in something like hairdressing. She's come to you to say to you, this is what she wants to do. She's now giving you her business idea, Mom, I want to do this. No, you need to go and be a lawyer. This is why they don't come to you. You don't want to support it. But then when you see that she's getting money, you lot are the first to say, give me the money. Give me the, the first wages you make. You make it give to me. I feel like African aunties, you don't believe in creative arts. Like, sometimes, like, give that just a chance. Chance, like, I know it's hard for you to see beyond, but like, just give it a chance. Because you know they even have imagination. Open your mind. Educate yourself. Do you know what I mean? Like, believe in your kids. Mm. Your offspring. Believe in them. So most of them will say that, oh, be a lawyer, be a doctor. But, but when you ask them what is the wage of a lawyer or a doctor, they don't know. It's just because somebody told them that lawyers and doctors are making they, they, they just want to be able to go to church and be like, my... My daughter is a lawyer. Qualified doctor. So I need to stop. But she hasn't been able to find a job for five years. Mr. Miss that bit though. Miss it out. They love to sell you that you're wearing too much makeup and then they'll put green But your but eyes. your eyebrows are black. Pitch black. It's not like a black. And then they'll ask you for tips. But, but yours is too much. That. Yours is too much, but I'm asking you for tips, but yours is too much. Oh listen, why do you wear these lashes that would not be covering your eyes? Even though you're an African auntie, I know we're cussing you now, but you're not stupid. They all have a brain. I mean you know what is gonna hurt someone. Cause I remember when my skin here was really moving mad. I know my skin is fucked at a certain mm. point. I remember I walked into the African hair shop and then she was like, Oh, do you wanna laugh? What happened to your skin? Oh my whatever, god! Whatever happened to you, actually the skin happened to your man. Can we talk about it? But when your man is cheating <laughs> on girls that are 18, <laughs> when yeah. your man is cheating up and down with the pastor's wife, no one's allowed to talk about it. But when Adriana gets two two spots, we should, we should talk about it loudly in front of a shop, in front of everybody and their clients. Yeah, yeah. that is cool. But like, when it's you, everybody needs to be silent. I feel like, like they need to be about themselves. And you know what? Insecure aunties are insecure. Perfect, perfect, perfect. You guys have nothing going for yourselves but your sons. My son's gonna be a lawyer, my son's gonna be a doctor. Your son's gonna be drugs. Perfect. Your child could be going through depression, anxiety, all you know, these different mental issues, and it's witchcraft. Someone's doing it. Okay. On my child. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's doing something. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Your yeah, yeah, child is depressed, yeah. but it's somebody back home that's doing juju on your child. No, no. no. Just talk to your child. Talk, let your child express themselves. Oh, your child likes the same sex. Oh my god. Oh, my goodness. A lot of kids here, yeah, they don't understand why they're getting beats. They're just getting beat, oh, so like Mommy hates me, mommy hates me Now if you communicate to your child, okay The bed needs to be made because it's gonna make you feel better about yourself mm -hmm. Like all these simple things, but you're just beating your child because they're there And you can punish them in other ways that will actually hurt them Like mm -hmm. confiscating a phone, that makes more sense Confiscating phone, Xbox <laughs> Not going out, yeah, not going out. Like, That hurts more than beating me like I'm an animal Exactly! <laughs> all the child's gonna do Grow to To that point. All beating the child's gonna do is just make them to have tolerance for pain and they're not gonna feel like a human being. Yeah, facts. Yeah. yeah. And I feel like most times people are beaten without explanation. Like, exactly. So if you haven't once educated them why is it wrong, mm -hmm. why they shouldn't do it. You just want to grab the belt because you've had a bad day at work. Stop lying. Perfect. African aunties, they're not honest people. I feel like be honest with the life you've had, but you want to portray a life that you had in the past you didn't have. Perfect. So when you're talking to your children, you're not even being honest about your personal experiences. Perfect. So your own right. child, they can't relate to you. Right. And it's like you're just talking about of your ass. Right. Like, aunties that like to compare their nieces and nephews to other people is like, oh, you know, your cousin Shona, she doesn't do this. Oh, your cousin Stephanie, mm. she doesn't do this. Stephanie's a home. But you know the real Stephanie I'm and the real Shona. If I was to compare Mom's. you to another mother, you're gonna be like, oh, you don't know what's going on in their house. Yeah. Oh, no, it's not. 
your son is cheating up in Nana, you're back in it. Yeah. But when it's a woman, and you're having sex with my daughter, my daughter, my daughter, my daughter. Your son will introduce you to several different bitches and it's okay, but your daughter will introduce you to like, three men and she's a hoe. Mm. I'm sorry. Mm. Yeah, like, does your common sense kick in after two minutes or three? Yeah, okay. most of them talk unnecessarily. Mm. One nobody asked you. Nobody asked you. Yeah, like, it's just so weird to me because it's like, it's so unprovoked. Like, at that point where you're talking your unnecessary nonsense, putting someone down, you don't know what they're going through. Like, why is it appropriate for you to put us down and then we can't say nothing out of respect? Exactly, it's like we can't say nothing out of respect and you know that. Is it jealousy? Is it bitches? It like, what is I, it? They never look like us when they're I personally feel like it's a generational curse. Like their mums were like that. Their oh, mums right. kind of like passing down. Mm. Do you know what? I don't think that. Simply because we have seen their behaviour. And the first thing you could say is, I'll never be like that with my daughter. I'm yeah. Never be like that you know how it is to be a woman. Why would you make it harder for the women that are to in your life? Like, I don't understand that. But... I guess we live to see another day. Yeah, and I'm just happy that I feel like as the generation is going down, it is becoming less like that. So, you know, I'm waiting for them to all die out. Die. <laughs> <laughs> The culture of African aunties, as much as we respect them and love them, is top sick. Like, you girls out there, we feel your pain. Mm. We know what you're going through. Comment down below, let us know what, what the most toxic thing an African auntie has said to you yeah. or done to you. Yeah. And when you're going to be reading through the comments, you're going to be like, I relate, I relate, I relate. 100%. Yeah. And also, give this video a big thumbs up. Big thumbs up if you think <laughs> African aunties need to change. It. Give this video a big thumbs up because we're wearing red. <laughs> or give this video a big thumbs up if you're excited to exactly. see the new generation. And you guys can get this video to 5k likes. We'll you come see. back. And if you guys can get this video to 20k likes, we'll come back and do a part two. Yeah, this is a Oh my god. This video just sums up everything they said. So I don't have any other thing to say. So just comment down below what are your experiences with African aunties. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.